Man, Astro, I feel your frustration, bruh. You can't get a PS5 either, and you come with the system. Crazy. What is going on, everybody? How? Ah, y'all doing before we get started with this video you already know the vibes give the video a thumbs up thumbs up let's destroy that like button we have a couple a couple of dope gaming news items for this video but the first one is so critical so vital to this gaming generation that's right get in your hands on a playstation 5 these things have been like the Loch Ness Monster, like Bigfoot. They say that they're out there, but no one can get their hands on it. This is coming fresh off of the news that the PlayStation 5 is the fastest selling console in U.S. history. That's right. In the first five months of the PlayStation 5, it's eclipsed every console. PlayStation 2, the Wii, the Switch, you name hot consoles, the PlayStation 5 has done it in its first five months on the market. But where can you get this console? That's why you clicked on this video. Breaking news. Target. Target. I have a couple more, more places you can look at. But Target PlayStation 5 restocks are planned for this week this week that's right if you still don't have a playstation 5 make sure you keep your eyes peeled for target this is coming from tomsguy.com target hasn't replenished its stock for the playstation 5 since last month but that's about to change in the next coming games According to online stock tracking accounts, Target is gearing up for a restock later this week. This would be the retailer's first restock in three weeks and would give customers still eager to get their hands on the PlayStation 5 a shot of getting the console. And so that's one. Target. Target this week. Make sure tips to get a PlayStation 5. I've gotten three already, bro. I have one for me, one for my kids, and I um, sold one to one of my sponsors. Same price, didn't try to um, get over on him. He just couldn't get one, and I had three, so I sold him one of mine. But make sure on Target, you already have an account. You already have your credit card information tied to your account. I'm giving you tips on how I was able to secure mine, that you already have your card information tied to your account, because once there's pre-order, it just simplifies... Any step that you can take to simplify the process from putting it in your cart to checking out helps. All right, so that's Target. But also, 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 Amazon. Um, Amazon. No one knows when Amazon will release this PlayStation 5 console for sale. Um, it's been quite some time, according to this article, since the last PlayStation 5 restock on Amazon. And Amazon has been the most random of all the places. They just randomly have them up on their site, so you have to check them. Now, Best Buy has probably been the most consistent. So if you're looking to get a PlayStation 5 every Friday... Every Friday for the past few weeks, Best Buy has been dropping PlayStation 5 inventory. And so PlayStation 5 has been the most reliable, according to um, uh, this website, tomsguy.com. Best Buy has been dropping PlayStation 5s every Friday for the past few weeks. Now, here's the stickler. They don't give any notice. 
they just according magically that's what this article says the playstation 5 just magically appear in stock on best buy's website so target keep your eyes peeled for target this week um 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 leaks and um reporting is saying that target is about to have some restocks and friday every friday check best buy so playstation 5 restocks um you just got to be diligent man don't give up i just got a message on twitter from somebody yesterday saying that they just got a ps5 through playstations on the playstation direct website <clears throat> they got invited they said it took about three minutes and they were able to secure a playstation 5 so if you want a playstation 5 just stay on the lookout they are becoming available it is the hottest console on the market right now i uh, just gotta um, keep your eyes peeled for it all right next news item this could be another reason why astrobot is upset in this video playstation 5 is now confirmed to have cmos battery failure issue that um, has just been discovered in the PlayStation 4 and I think PlayStation 3 consoles. What is this? This OCM CMOS issue is an internal clock on the consoles that if that clock fails, you no longer have access to the digital storefront. This is also an issue because Sony at any time can shut down the digital stores on these consoles using this feature and gamers are like um whereas if you don't check in online you're not able to access and get, um, no longer buy digital games on your console i have to say i've been seeing this article and, and people have been afraid um with the playstation 4 and now with the playstation 5 for the last couple of days and i really think it's a non-issue bro it's, it's, it's a non-issue. There has been no widespread major concerns of, oh, battery clock failures on the PlayStation 4, Sony just shutting down um, access to their digital stores. No, they did it just this past few, um, few weeks ago where they actually announced we're closing the PlayStation Vita, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3 stores. They let you know ahead of time. Had nothing to do with actually what's in the console. I think it's a non-issue, but it makes headlines. It causes um, um, fanboys or haters of PlayStation to say, ha, ah, that's why you shouldn't buy a PlayStation console. Well, when it's really a, not an issue, what I am looking out for, when is Sony going to announce their counter there's been rumors of sony's going to be countering what xbox is doing with game pass and that's what you have to keep your eyes peeled for all right next news item bro days gone developer flamed the fans who are raging or upset why days gone 2 is not being made and this is what he said. Days Gone Dev says, buy our game at full price if you want us to have a sequel. Common sense. It's all about budget and business. If the first game didn't sell and they couldn't recoup the, de the development costs, why are they going to make another game? And so he pretty much said, fans, it's on you. Y'all are upset and raging that Days Gone 2 isn't happening. But the developer said, y'all weren't buying the game at full price. The subtitle to this article, this is at techspot.com, says, Full price sales are more important than uptick in engagement. All right, so the game, no one bought it at launch for full price, which is where the developers get their money um, back so that they could continue to make more games. What dudes do? They wait for the game. Oh, in two weeks, I'm good. The game will be on sale for 30 bucks, $29.99. I'll just wait till then. And then there's an uptick engagement. Oh, why didn't they make a sequel? Look at all these people playing the game. It's because no one bought the game at full price at launch, in the launch, first weeks of launch. 
And so it's a business. They got to eat too. And so they, they're, they're like, um, we can't afford to make another game if y'all aren't buying the game at full price so that they can make a profit on the game. It makes sense, bro. Come on, bro. All right, dudes, what do you guys... Oh, one more news item. I thought this was pretty dope. This game just got a next-gen announcement. Lemnis Gate. It's a first-person shooter that uses time travel. Um, matches in Lemnis Gate send you through a 25-second time loop to undo your mistakes and ravage your opponents. Um, it just got announced today for PlayStation 5 xbox series x um i think this there was a trailer of this game um a few months back but this is the official next gen announcement the game is coming summer 2021 and it looks pretty dope definitely 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 going to be on my radar and this looks like a game that's going to be free on game pass <laughs> no but it looks like a dope game like dope game outriders was free on game pass and outriders was a lit game and so this this is a game the reason why i say that because this is a game that i think will fly under the radar of a lot of gamers not get a lot of publicity hype pre-order sales game pass <laughs> All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got a There you, you go. Right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.